So the French Open done and dusted. We have to go through the predictions. I didn't do too bad. I mean, some of the predictions that I got early were pretty good, but there's a lot of ones that I missed totally. Let's go check them out. So we're starting with a bang. We're going with Sviantec versus Sabalenka. Or who's going to go further? I got to go Sviantec. All right, good start. I picked Sviantec to do better than Sabalenka, and she won the whole thing. And Sabalenka, of course, lost a little bit earlier in the quarterfinals. She was sick. But still, Sviantec did better than Sabalenka, so start with a bang. This is a really tricky one because the players that I wanted to pick didn't qualify. So that's a little bit strange, but I'm going to go with Montero on the men's side. And then on the women's side, I'm going to go with Arani. So not the greatest start with the predictions for the qualities. They both lost early. Montero lost in the first round, unfortunately. That was a bit of a shame. And Arani lost in the second round to Navarro, who went on to play in the fourth round. So to be honest, it wasn't really a qualifiers tournament. A lot of players in the qualities didn't actually make it past the third round or even to the third round. So it wasn't the greatest run for qualities and also my picks. I feel like I only pick out of two different countries and this time I'm gonna go with Russia because I think that they're better on clay. So unfortunately, Russia didn't do that well. They actually lost a lot of players in the first round. America did the better of the two with players like Navarro, and Goff doing very well for them and getting them a win. So to be honest, you could have gone with Italy and they would have been a better chance with Pellini and Sinner. But yeah, didn't get the right one for this one. Now, French Open, aces aren't really a big thing, but I'm gonna go with Zverev. I think he can produce a lot of aces. And on the women's side, I'm gonna go with Zhang. So Zverev did hit the most aces, also made the final, which really helped. He was just ahead of her catch, who hit the second most ace. And of course, Zverev playing a lot of five setters. That also helped. And Rabakina actually hit the most ace on the women's side. Zhang, unfortunately, didn't win enough matches to get her, uh, put out her up there in the top. But got Zverev, right? So I got that one, right? Good, I'm happy with that. So this is a little bit of an interesting one. I didn't go with Djokovic, you know, I decided to go Djokovic Alcaraz because those two guys, I feel like, are the favorites to win this tournament. I gotta go with Djokovic. I think he's gonna be better than Alcaraz at this tournament. <laughs> Well, that was terrible. Alcaraz won the whole thing. Djokovic with a knee injury, pulls out of the quarterfinals. Couldn't predict the knee injury, but still, Alcaraz not winning the whole thing completely put this prediction to shame. So for unseeded players, I've got to go with Struff. Can't believe he's not seeded. He's so dangerous. Mm. On the women's side, I've got to go with Bedosa. Mm. So not the worst predictions. They didn't make the third round, but unfortunately, they didn't get the big upset, which I expected or hoped for for them. Sabalenka took out Bedosa in the third round, and Struff went down to Demonor in the third round. It could have been Struff in the quarterfinals, though, because Demonor did beat Medvedev in the next round to then go on and, and lose to Zverev. So I wasn't too far off with Struff, and of course, Bedosa, if she had beaten Sabalenka, maybe she could have been in the quarterfinals as well. Now the upsets. This is a little bit of a tricky one, but maybe it's obvious. Let me know down in the comments below who you pick. I'm gonna go Dimitrov. He had a bit of a wrist problem the last couple of weeks. And on the women's side, I'm gonna go with Zachary. So Zachary, I got spot on. She was the biggest upset in the first round. She lost the first round again. Just can't play Grand Slam tennis for some reason. Dimitrov, he made the quarterfinals. There wasn't too many upsets on the men's side. Rublev was the big one in the first week. But yeah, there wasn't too many upsets to pick from. But I got the Zachary one right, so I'll stick with that. All right, so the lower ranked seeds that I think are going to have a run. I'm going to go with Jarry in this one. And I'm going to go with Kazakina just because she's my favorite player. Okay, so Jerry, let's talk about it. Lost first round. It was a horrible loss. Kazakina lost in the second round. Still, that's a bad loss. She was number 10 seed, so should have done better. All right, so this is a little bit different. City Pass and Zverev. I'm going to go with Zverev in this one. I think Zverev will do better than City Pass. Okay, we're back on track. Got Zverev. He made the finals. City Pass did make the quarterfinals. Both lost to Elkres in the end, but. I like Zverev's draw, even with Djokovic in it. I still think he would have made the semifinals. I thought with Steph against Elkrez in the quarterfinals, he was more likely to lose early. Of course, Zverev did almost lose early, so that was a little bit, he got through that one just, but Zverev got the point, I'll take it. All right, so my hot take for the event, Grand Slam Novak will appear. We haven't seen Grand Slam Novak. This might be my worst hot take of all time. He didn't, well look, he appeared and he came back from, I guess, two sets of one down and did play with a bad knee, but he didn't go on to make the final or anything like that that I expected from him. So his results didn't give Grand Slam Nole. 
So the semi-final lineups, always tricky, but let's go through them anyway. I'm going to go with Djokovic versus Zverev up the top half of the draw. No surprise if you've been listening to my prediction so far. I've been picking those guys a lot. And on the bottom half of the draw, I'm going to go with the Alcarez versus Jarry. <laughs> and on the women's side at the top, I'm going to go with Sviantec versus Goff. Goff has only lost to Sviantec at the French Open the last two years. And in the bottom half, I'm going to go with Rabakina versus Kazakina. All right, so two out of four for each of them. And on the men's side, you know, Alcaraz, Zverev, I'm glad they got through. Djokovic was only one match away from making that lineup. Jarry lost first round. That was a terrible pick. On the women's side, though, I did pick Goff versus uh, Sviantec, which was really cool. Rabakina, Kazakina, I mean, Rabakina was only one set away from winning that match against Paolini to take her spot. Unfortunately, Dasha was nowhere to be seen. I should have just gone... With well, I could I would never have gone on Draver, so I would have got that wrong. Man, it was it was not too bad. I'll, I'll take 50% of these picks. All right, and the big one: who is gonna win this year's French Open? Just copy and paste my answers: Djokovic, <laughs> Sviantec. That's who I think's gonna win. All right, so I didn't get Djokovic, but I did get Sviantec, so I'll take it. I got a big win. I'm. It was, the obvious win, right? She almost lost in the second round to Osaka. Djokovic, unfortunately, of course, pulled out with knee injury. Uh, maybe he would have made the final had he not been injured. He has a good record against Rude. He's beaten Zverev before. So not my best predictions by a long shot. In fact, I think it's worse than last year's French Open, to be honest. But I did get some of the big ones, the semifinals and the finals, which is the hardest ones I feel like to pick. So the next prediction is coming up. We're going to be doing Wimbledon predictions, obviously, coming up in a couple weeks' time. Let me know down in the comments below. How can we make these predictions a little bit better? Is there a way that we could do like maybe a couple of different things, go with different categories? If you have any category ideas for these predictions in the future, let me know down in the comments below and we'll uh, see if we can put them in. But they're my predictions for the French Open. It was average.